Okay, that should be recording. Looks good. <clears throat> Cooking with Bungie. On this episode of Cooking with Bungie, we're going to do a little bit of crock pot cooking. Now, for those of you who are liking Death by Bungie on Facebook and following our Death by Bungie Facebook page, you're familiar with this. You've seen that I've been doing a lot of crock pot cooking lately, and I thought, what a great time to do that. you got a nice crisp fall day today outside. Michelle and Genevieve are out shopping. When they get home, hopefully we'll have a nice warm crock pot dinner for them and everybody will have a great dinner. Uh, what I'm basically going to do is the simplest of crock pot recipes that I know how to make. This is venison and cream of mushroom soup in a crock pot. We're going to have it over egg noodles at the end of the day. To do this, it's real easy. All you're going to do, uh, the first thing you want to do, I recommend you spray down your crock pot. This makes cleanup a lot easier. Take the canola spray or whatever spray you use, just hit it real good. It'll make it a lot easier to clean up when you're all done. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go straight to putting the venison in here. Now I've got cubed up venison here. This is awesome. It is uh, basically courtesy of our 2015 dough, my first dough that I got here in Pennsylvania this year. If you haven't seen that video already, make sure you check that out. It was a lot of fun. And essentially, you can use any cut of meat for this recipe. It really doesn't matter. The other thing you're going to do is put the, the other important thing is that we want to put the venison in first, right at the bottom of the crock pot. So we're just going to scrape that right off of there, put that in there so it covers the bottom of the crock pot. Make sure you clean and rinse your venison good. And, and basically that's it. Like I said, just about any rest, any cut of meat that you have will work great. Just make sure that it covers the bottom of the crock pot good. And we'll stick this over here out of the way. It's that off in a bit. The last thing we got to do, um, you can even use back straps for this if you wanted to. A lot of people say, oh, don't use back straps for that. They're too good. Well, they're fantastic uh, in this recipe. Um, the cream of mushroom soup that I'm using here, just use any kind of soup really. Cream of mushroom is your basic, works extremely well. Um, I really like that, the family really likes it. Uh, power going? I don't know what that's all about. Um, basically, you're just going to put that cream of mushroom soup right on the top. Really doesn't matter, don't get picky with it. Um, but you can use any type of soup that you want. I, my favorite, my personal favorite is the golden mushroom. You can add a few extra mushrooms to that and it goes really, really good. Um, there's a couple other types of soups and variations on this that I'll be doing videos for down the road here too. But basically we're just going to put the cream of mushroom right in there. And you don't have to get real picky with it. We just put it right on the top so that you can cover the meat good. And then... Believe it or not, that's about all there is to the recipe. Uh, make sure you get it all in there good. Get all that out of that can. And then, take care of those in a bit. Take your spatula, you just want to smooth it around so it pretty much covers the meat good. So it covers the venison. And then, that's about it. And we're just going to set that out of the way. And basically, believe it or not, that is all there is to it. Cover it good. Set the crock pot up someplace where it's nice and safe. We're going to turn that right on low. And then... An outlet band or something? I use that outlet all the time. I don't... Have to check this out. Maybe it'll work. Too soon to tell if it's cooking. I'm going to leave it on low for... Um, just leave it on low, let it sit for four to six hours, come back, don't stir it. Just basically let it sit like that. The meat's on the bottom, the meat will cook through. Everything will cook just fine, it'll be nice and tender. And then in the end, what we're going to do, we're going to put it over egg noodles. We boil these up when we get ready for dinner. It takes uh, just a few minutes to boil these and basically put it on a plate with the stuff on top of it, you're good to go. You can also put it on top of mashed potatoes, you can put it on top of... Uh, um, slice of bread if you wanted to. You can put it on top of rice if you like rice. I'm not a big fan of rice, but you can put it on that as well. So we should be good to go when that... Help me. Hello? 
in the basement. Hello? Hello? Help me. Hello, who's there? Smells good. Who did my dinner? Hey, Dad. Okay, well that's all there is to it really. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Cooking with Bungie. There's not a lot to this particular recipe, but uh, given that it's Halloween, Genevieve and I decided we'd make this little video. And we hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it. Uh, Genevieve likes the found footage stuff. What do you like? Draw Hunter and Lost Tapes, anything like that really. She likes those kinds of movies and she wanted to put something like that together for Halloween. So we hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time right here on Death by Bungie. The second state is number one in my book.